Patch you perform splice and post and I have a very quick tip for all Avid um, editors. Um, there is a growing concern on the fact that um, if you're an Avid editor there's a growing concern in the fact that um, if you cut it in Avid it's very easy to create um, stat fillers but it's kind of like um, you know tricky creating a, an end filler. Um, just to refresh your memory, so let's just say you are new to Avid and you don't know how to create a stat filler. Um, there are basically two ways you could do that. The first one is basically going into your source monitor, clicking on where the name is here, just by um, the little um, chain, um, like clip and the chain sign there. And you see load filler. You load that in, okay, and you just get um, you know a string um, of filler here. Filler is just basically. Some people call it slug, you could call it a leader, it's the same thing. It's just basically um, a stream of black, okay? The thing about it, um, in Media Composer, um, filler is treated as a segment. So basically, um, all the tools that I have um, in my, my editing, all the editing tools that I have that could affect um, the segment, could affect filler. So for example, I could trim filler. I could put um, filters or effects on filler. Okay, so that is just by the way. So it is just as good as let me clear this max here. So let's just say I need three seconds of filler to put on my start here. Okay, I'll just go in and just make, and I'm going to be using keyboard shortcuts, so um, pardon me. I'm just going to make a mark an endpoint, then I'll just um, pick to um, three seconds of that, mark an out. Okay. Then I'm just going to basically um, come down to my timeline window and I'm going to go to the beginning of it and just splice it in there. Okay? And if I mark this, you're going to see conveniently it says 3 seconds. Alright? Or right, let me take that off. The second way you could also do that is um, right click anywhere in the gray area in your timeline window. And there is um, um, a little menu here that says add filler at start when you click that. It's gonna add filler here, and in my case, it added 30 seconds. Now, the thing about it is that um, this is actually pre configured by Avid, so um, it'll put the uh, sorry, 30 seconds. But if you want to change the configuration, maybe you just need 10 seconds, you know, you could basically go into your settings. So, uh, let me pull up my timeline, and over there, you go to edit, and over here, where it says start filler duration, you can actually change the duration to whatever that you desire, okay? So, let me undo this. All right. Now the problem is end filler. Okay. So basically, if I um, go to the end of my sequence and I decide to probably splice in this day, nothing happens. Okay. Let me just use the buttons here so you know. Splice is not happening. Overwrite is not happening. Okay. Now there is um, a trick to this. There are two ways you could actually do this. All right. And I'm going to show you guys both of them. The first one is as easy as just basically creating a new video track. So I'll create a new video track. Um, here in my sequence okay v2 and I'm just gonna go ahead and turn um, all my um, tracks off okay then I'll just turn the v2 track on all right then what I'm gonna do there is I'm just gonna step back as you can see I'm all the way to the end of my sequence now if I um, zoom in you're gonna see I'm all the way to the end but what I want to do is just come back at least a frame or two Okay, then I'm just gonna use my add edit and add an edit right there. So you can see I added an edit right there. Okay, then I could step into my trim tool, go to my A side trim, and it's as easy as basically just dragging it. And as I drag it, it creates a filler. All right, so I could have as much um, duration as I desire, and that is basically um, up to me. Okay, let me go back. Okay, I'll do this. The second um, way of doing this is basically using. Um, um, title all right so what I could do now is I could just say okay um, create a new title and I'll go to the title tool now basically um, what I have to do is instead of showing a video background I'm just gonna say give me black background okay and I could just go ahead and just save this as a title so I'll just call this a slug okay and I'll save it to my media drive fine okay and I'll close out of this and now I have my slug Okay, and it's basically the same thing, it's just black. Okay, so I could just um, do the same thing I did when I was creating the start filler. Okay, endpoint. Okay, three seconds. 
and I'm just gonna uh, splice it at the end of my, uh, my sequence okay and as you can see it's black so basically if you need um, filler at the end you could use this method or you could basically just create a new video track um, and use um, the trim functions to basically get um, your end filler alright so this is a quick tip for all um, Avid editors thanks for watching